Even as negotiations to reinstate Facebook in Uganda are ongoing, Ugandans should continue abstaining from using the platform because it is still illegal within Uganda's territories. Right now, uh, a, 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 government, a government entity can't run Facebook because it is closed legally. So that one is not acceptable. It can't. It cannot. Because how, how do you access Facebook? It is officially closed. Uh, if there is any law which, which can impose those penalties, then it will be there. According to the Ministry of Information and National Guidance, the ban on the Facebook social media platform was long overdue. There are some few issues which uh, didn't go right uh, between us and, uh, and, and uh, between government and, uh, and Facebook. And the regulator uh, with the UCC was also not happy. We continued uh, pointing out. At one time, even Facebook closed the accounts you know, of government. So. Now, after a two-year abstinence from the use of Facebook in Uganda, government says negotiations have been ongoing to reinstate the platform in the country. And even right now, negotiations are, are still going on. Obviously, our regulator, Uganda Communications Commission, is leading the negotiations on behalf of our ministry and the government of Uganda. Even then, State Minister for National Guidance, Godfrey Kabianga, says the issue of compensating Ugandans who claim to have lost business occasioned by the ban on Facebook does not hold water. Minister Kabianga categorically states such individuals ought to have adjusted to use other social media platforms. I think they are about 15 or something, but Facebook is just one of them. It carries the highest population. Uh, subscribers, but still there are many. So if you can go to those ones, you can get the same, uh, the same results. Meanwhile, government has advised media practitioners to reinstate their professional associations and labor to nurture them to last. You, the journalists, to form a body, one big body that can, uh, can, 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 can speak for you. And then the broadcasters should also have another body. One, if someone has worked for has worked for you, pay him. If you can't pay him, then you say, look, I can't manage. You lay off workers and and, and probably even close the TV station. Why should you masquerade as 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 being in the TV world when you are not even able to pay workers? That one that one is unacceptable. On Tuesday. Uganda, like elsewhere in the world, held celebrations to mark the World Press Freedom Day under the theme, Journalism Under Dictor Siege. Dokas Kimono, UBC News.